Good morning. My name is Walt. I'm a guitar player here in St. Augustine, Florida. I've been asked to review a couple items uh, from Junkworks, a uh, little small startup company out of South Dakota. Junkworks.us is their website. Um, the first one is called their uh, two pedal. Their sorry, <laughs> baby blaster two pedal. Um, I like a lot of guitar players. Um, you tend to use single coil and dual coil pickups. Um, it's probably not what this pedal was intended for originally, but. Uh, in my situation, I've, I've found that it works out the best for me when I'm switching guitars to have an added little boost on my single coil guitars to make my to match the volume of my double coil guitars. So I'm not putting an added burden on a soundman or relying on a soundman to make me heard in the mix. So here's a bass line of a uh, an ESP Telecaster through a 65 black panel. Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp. This is just straight in, volume's about five. I'm just gonna do a little Beatles rip back and forth so you can get an idea of what the volume differences are. This is wide open. So, with that as a bass line, here, I'm going to switch the pedal on to give you just a little bit more volume, and you'll see that it'll match the open sound of the Les Paul I'm going to play next. So here we go, switch it on. Now this box does have both a boost control, a tone control, and, an, and a gain control, so you can tune in the sound a little bit better. I think I got it pretty close to just being a little bit louder uh, for this purpose. <laughs> Besides being good for the sound man, you might want a little bit more grit tone at a lower volume. This is perfect for that. I'm going to switch guitars now and I'm going to show you the difference with the Les Paul. Now you got a baseline of how loud this guitar is with the, with the pedal on. Now we're going to switch real quick to the left. Different guitar. this also is if you were say just a Les Paul player or all your guitars had humbuckers in it this is the kind of boost you can get out of it with with the Les Paul and the humbuckers <laughs> it's a great pedal it's really uh, easily adaptable to what you want to use it's small it's compact it's really, it really looks really well made it's, it's really pretty design um, so there you have it cool do a riff just do a riff kind of gets the idea across yeah yeah that's cool now let's have some fun this, turn this off, go, nope, go here, scoot this over to here, plug the speaker into the back, oh, it's just going to make it, might have a bad, not the perfect cable. Parametric EQ. Yeah, there was a piece of paper. That's tone. Okay, so we probably have a, a, a gain, a volume. Volume, tone, and gain. Okay. Called out. Thank you. 
again uh, now I've plugged into the uh, baby blaster mini tube amp this is a <laughs> just a cool sound little amp in a practice situation maybe in a recording situation where you want the sound of a real amp but you don't want to use any kind of um, synthetic uh, processed kind of um, processors to, to change the tone this is probably I want to say probably two to three watts it's uh, real low. The, the Fender you heard me playing through earlier was 22 watts, and it was on five. This is a, a very low wattage amp on flat out. <laughs> situations or um, uh, small gigs, you know, where you're asked to sit in and you trying to make it sound like real rock and roll, which is supposed to be loud, but you can't be loud. And we've all been there. There you go. It's a great little amp. Thanks. <laughs> 